and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the start of a series. I have a friend, she's a follower on Instagram, and she's kind of become a friend because we, I probably chat to her more than I chat to my friends. Anyway, she's a great support to my channel and my business, and she came to me with an idea that she, well, first of all, she needed help styling something. We got to chatting, I kept, like, we basically thought that it would be a good idea to create a series called Creating Balance. And what it is, is that, like, food, you know, if you go to a restaurant, the dishes that they prepare, they're balanced. I can go into that more detail if you really want me to. Wine, when a winemaker creates a wine, like, their main goal in creating that wine is a balanced wine. And there's elements to that wine that they're trying to create to make it balanced. Just like that, style and outfits should be balanced. Today's video is a, basically an item that she came to me with that she wanted some ideas on how to style. She bought the item in a store and when the sales assistant recommended a top that she tried on with, it was just not the best choice for her. It basically kind of left her a bit frustrated with regards to what she should style with these beautiful shorts that she bought. I'm going to show you and her how to create balance in the, the pair of shorts that she bought. So the pair of shorts that she bought were a pair of blue seed cheesecloth shorts. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now just quickly while I'm talking to you I'm also looking at my laptop because on my laptop I have the, what are they called? It's not a slide. It's a mood board. I've created outfit mood boards for each outfit and I'm just basically going to talk through them for you and for her. With the mood boards I have also done a day to night look. Now first look is the blue cheesecloth shorts with a white ribbed knit singlet, a tan bucket bag with a cloth enclosure, just very similar to my Chloe one here, and also a pair of tan slides. Now, everything I have picked for this outfit has actually come from Seed. Now, big tip with how these retailers work is that when they put its collection and release it every month, they will do it with the intention of you being in there to pick other items to go with the item that you're specifically after. The whole aim of the game for them is to increase sales and by doing that they kind of review their collections as more of a kind of like way that you can capitalize your outfits or your wardrobe. Now with this particular short I picked a cream knit v-neck singlet top that is very fitted at the top. Now the reason why I picked this particular top with the shorts these shorts are kind of like a hero item in, them, in themselves. They're quite feminine. Even though they are blue, they are quite feminine. And also, by feminine, the details that I'm talking about is they have a bow. They have a tie bow around the waist, they're high-waisted. They also have a tear that kind of makes the shorts look a little bit ruffled. Now, being a cheesecloth short, they are kind of more of a summer item. So the top's very minimal. The short with the, de the feminine details are the hero piece. Now, I picked tan accessories to match with this because that particular tan with that blue is a really good match. Also, the bag with the, the white can the cream canvas up the top actually matches in with the top as well. So that is why I put together this daytime outfit for this particular pair of shorts. For the nighttime outfit, I have kept the same top. I've kept the same bag, but I've actually gone for a, a low height tan mule with gold detail and accessorized it with a nice little gold necklace. Once again, everything else is from seed. Adding a little heel to this outfit really elevates it. And it also ties the tan bag in with the shoes as well, so that you've got some real, like a real nice kind of balance happening with the color tones, as well as a nice balance happening with the top and the shorts. And the balance comes from the fitted top in a neutral colour with the pants down the bottom being a little bit looser and flowy that's where you want to create a little bit more balance you want to have something fitted at some point in the outfit whether it's the top or the bottom and then something that's a little bit more flowy the next outfit is very similar to the first one it's actually just a plain white singlet it's actually the same singlet that I'm wearing in this video but in white I've kept the same bucket bag and the same slides as the first one leaving once again the pair of shorts to be the hero. I also wanted to have a bit of balance between the colours as well so you've just got like a stark white top with the blue shorts once again just kind of letting the, the shorts be the hero of the, the ensemble. Tying in the tan accessories with the shoes and the bucket bag. So the nighttime outfit once again is the singlet with the shorts, the bag and the tan mules. Very similar to the first outfit. Only difference is, is the neckline of the singlet. I, the reason why I picked this singlet even though I know it's very similar to the original outfit 
that I put together, the previous one, is because this singlet is really easy. It's very, it's like probably one of the most basic items that you can have in your wardrobe. And also it's very modern. I like the fact that it's just very crisp and wide and it kind of gives off that Mediterranean vibe that basically the shorts exude. Like I can imagine somebody literally wearing this outfit like in Positano or Capri sitting around drinking Aperol spritzes at Apertivo, just having a really good time watching that pink sunset happening over, you know, over the water. Sorry we can't travel but yeah, that's basically what this outfit screams to me. And let's face it, who doesn't like some sort of kind of azure blue hair short like in summer? Okay, outfit number three, day to night look. Once again, all I've done in this one is I have swapped out the top and this time I've gone for an H&M top. The good thing about trends and colors in summer when you have something that's a real strong trend like this year it was yellow lavender and this really kind of bright mediterranean blue is that all the different shops on the high street will have some sort of range in that colorway and h m have done a really gorgeous range in the colorway as well and the good thing about h m it actually gives you an affordable option this one i've picked kind of like a, it's like a almost a, a smudged floral vibe going on here a very summery with scoop neck top now I have picked this top just so it's a little bit loose and summery. The last two tops I picked were a lot more fitted. This one you would want to tuck into the shorts to make sure that you're creating structure through the waist and creating you know, a little bit of shape in the outfit. You wouldn't want to actually have this sitting over the shorts because that's going to make you look larger and that's not the aim of the game. Once again, I have paired it with the same tan slides and the same bucket bag as the previous outfit and a gold necklace. Now the reason why I picked those slides as well, I don't think I touched on this earlier, is that those slides are super chic. They're really good, they're great slides. I actually own them and I absolutely love them and they go with so, so much. And once again, they're from Seed. Victorian Woods have done something very similar with a buckle on them and they're just gorgeous. And I just think that they're a really good summer shoe. Definitely one of the better summer shoes that I picked up this season. The nighttime look that I picked for this outfit is the same top, the same necklace, the same shorts. Imagine this top once again tucked in with a nice white ribbed man-made leather, uh, faux leather handbag, crossbody handbag, once again more of a bucket style, with a pair of Bottega Veneta inspired woven heels from Seed, so both the bag and the shoes are from Seed. I've decided to change it up a little bit with the shoes because Bottega Veneta style of mule with the weaving has been really popular. I think if you're spending, I think these shoes are now $150, they're on sale. If you're going to spend any money on a trend item, you may as well get it on sale and you may as well have fun with it while it lasts uh, through a few seasons. There's nothing better than a white heel in summer I mean, and I just thought that this would be a really nice outfit, just a little bit kind of more elevated with a trend item that will last you at least a few good seasons. But once again, the, the heel height's a little bit bigger than the tan one that I've used in previous outfits. It will, with it, the heel height being higher, will elongate the legs, which is fantastic, especially when you're wearing a pair of shorts. And yeah, it matches really nicely in with the smudge kind of floral thing going on at the top as well as the handbag. So once again, you're creating kind of like balance through the colors that you're using with the accessories and through the top as well. Just kind of like breaking up the stark blue of the, of the shorts. So the next outfit I've picked is another top from H&M. Very similar in style to the previous one with the smudge floral, but this is more like a spot. I really like this top actually and the pattern I think is really lovely. It's not as loud as the previous top. I think it just offers just a different take on on this look. You know, change you can have the same top with a different pattern and it completely changes the look. And I think having spots is uh, is going to be more people's taste than what I believe florals will be because it's a little bit more simple. Kept the bucket bag from seed, kept the tan slides from seed, once again trying to weave through that natural colour, that neutral of you know, the tan, making it just a really simple outfit with a nice little gold chain. So the nighttime look, once again we've kept that top from HM. Really like the pattern of that top, it's just really nice and it just breaks up the blue quite nicely. Kept the bag, the white the white plated bucket bag, because I just think that is a really cute bag that you have all your you know, your necessary items secured in, if you're going out for dinner or for drinks, during summer, if you're in a place that you can. And also, once again, the Bottega Veneta inspired woven heels from Seed. Just really, the white with the, with the top just kind of like really ties the whole outfit together with the accessories as well. And once again, like the previous top, you're wanting to tuck this in. You need to tuck this top in to make sure that you do have a little bit of shape and you are creating that kind of hourglass look. Now the last tip that I'm going to give you, and this is pretty much the lazy way out when you're choosing an outfit, and I touched on this in the beginning of this video, which is that when brands release a new drop of clothing every month, they will have things that match specifically with that 
particular item that you're after. There was a top that came with these pants, and the top's actually a really nice top. It's the same fabric, it's a nice kind of singlet with a square neckline. A little bit looser, but tucked into the shorts with the tie waist, it actually looks like a play suit. So you actually have a ready-made outfit there for you, which is great because you get the play suit look without the hindrance of a play suit. Play suits can be very annoying to wear. They look fantastic on, but they're really annoying to wear logistically when you need to go to the bathroom. And to be honest with you, everybody knows this. We may not talk about it, but they are a nightmare to wear when you are going out for dinner and you need to go to the toilet. So even though it's a lazy option, it actually is a really good option because you've got the same fabric, you've got the same colour, and it's actually a really cute little outfit. For the day outfit, I've picked the sea blue top that matches the shorts. I've picked the flat Bottega Veneta woven style dupes. They're just a flat mule sandal. They're really cute. They're from Seed. And also just a textured clutch and a nice gold necklace just to keep it really simple and just a nice balance between uh, the white and the blue. Really simple, really elegant, really wishing that you were probably on the Italian coast. And with the evening look, once again, same top, same short. You've got that play suit look, really elegant. Use that pleated bucket bag as well with the white and the BV, we'll call them now, dupe mule heels from Seed as well. As I said to you, one of the tips that I always recommend is that if you, you know, always have a look at what they've got. You know, you may look at something and for instance, this particular top, you may not think it's your style, always try it on. There's no harm in actually spending five minutes actually trying something on to see if it suits you. More often than not, you might actually find that that top is a, is a, good, is a good fit for you. Okay, so that's it for me today. I hope you like the first installment of Creating Balance. Definitely a very, very fun thing to come up with. It was hard to really logistically figure out how to put this one together because I didn't want to go out and buy the shorts because I'm trying not to buy things that I'm not going to wear, but also wanted to be able to deliver on what I was what I said that I was going to do for my Insta friend Jodie. So massive shout out to her for reaching out to me this problem and I hope I fixed it for you. Also, if she wants me to, I might not, I'll, I'll speak to her. She's a fantastic copywriter. I'll pop her details, her Instagram handle in the description below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I really need to grow this account so that we can keep it going for longer. It's feeling like it's turning a corner. It's been very slow starting, but I'm loving this is what I love doing, is creating content for you guys, and I feel that this has become my purpose now, to basically do all this really, really fun content and help people style the stuff that they own and help them build their personal style. Let me know in the comments below if you have anything that you're struggling to style. We could have a chat. I'm more than happy for you to submit a request, and I will do the video for you very similar to this. I think that we can figure out your styling problems. All right, I'll see you again next time. Bye.